Hey guys, Clint with ATS here. Today I have a treat for you. You know, for these uh, many videos we do, we're always talking about late model trucks and emissions on performance and all the other stuff. Well, you know, we kind of cut our teeth in the 12 valve and the 24 valve trucks, and of course the later 5.9s came out. And some of the first products we ever came out with was our three-piece exhaust manifold for the 12 valve Cummins. Well, you know, that really hasn't quit. I mean, we still do 12 valves, we still do 24 valves. We do a lot of conversions where you have a 5.9 common rail and bolt-on center charger on the center of the manifold. So, you know, something we've been working on for a little while that I'm very excited to announce is our high-flow one-piece exhaust manifold. So let me give you a little bit of evolution of what happened in the past. In the early days, this was the manifold. You can see how small it is. Also very cheap material, just basically gray iron. And what would happen is the iron would basically shrink from the heat. It would crack and they would bust in half. So in order to alleviate that, we came out with our three-piece manifolds. When we came out with the three-piece manifold, we basically chopped it in three pieces. This is one of the end sections and we would put a bellow in the end. Well, what that did is that allowed the, the expansion and contraction to happen in kind of three different pieces. Well, that was great. It took every rel reliability problem, but it really didn't do much for the flow characteristics, getting more exhaust gas energy to the turbo. Well, it worked out pretty well for years because it fixed the reliability issue, gave us a little bit more flow, not substantial. You can kind of see the, the size of the ports here not much of a big deal, <clears throat> but in these last 10 years, you know, the material that we're building the turbine housings out of and these light model exhaust manifolds, we can actually get materials now that don't shrink. So it's given us a lot more ability to build a high flow exhaust manifold. So now what we get is the introduction of our big pulse flow manifold and it comes in many different sizes. So we can get it either in a 12 valve, which is the square port, we offer it in a 24 valve, which is the round port. We also offer it in a common rail, which happens to be the same as the, as the um, 24 valve. And then in a T3 and a T4, so you see your big T4 footprint here, how big that is. So now we have a lot of options for either a stock replacement on 12 valve, 24 valve, or a third gen swap, adding the 24 valve manifold to a common rail, which means the turbo's in the middle and you can upgrade to the 24 valve, I'm sorry, to the, you can upgrade to the T4 turbo mount, which means you can add just about any turbo application you want. The real exciting part about this is the flow characteristics. I mean, take a look at this. This is a cutaway model that I have in front of me that is basically exactly the manifold that you see here, but we've kind of cut it away so you can see the flow ports and give you a little bit of an idea. This is our three-piece manifold that kind of everybody in the world has copied. And we've had this around for 20 years. And this manifold, basically, you can kind of see the difference where airflow is. I mean, see how tight and restricted that is. Look at the airflow when it comes out of each cylinder, where it drops through and mounts to the turbo. I mean, we're having huge increase, you know, over a 40% flow increase in this manifold, which means you get more air coming out of the cylinders driving to the turbo, so it spools quicker, you get lower exhaust spec pressure, and just overall more power. So one of the things you're always going to find with an ATS manifold, not only is it the new material, HSM, which means it's not going to shrink or crack or break or anything else, but they always come ceramic coated. So you'll see the black nice ceramic coating. So once we cook them, you know, we've, we cast these things, we get them all machined up. Once we do that, then we bake them, then we put our ceramic coat on. That means the ceramic coat is going to keep the additional heat inside the manifold, which every little bit helps. You know, when we're looking for efficiency, efficiency comes in a lot of forms. In this case, it comes at how much heat can we extract from the motor and drive to the turbine. All that exhaust gas energy we need to get out of the cylinders, and it kind of accumulates all the way through these runners and when it gets to the turbine housing you know you want to have that exhaust gas energy hit the turbine well as efficiently as possible which means you're extracting as much of that heat and airflow from the engine hitting the turbine wheel turning that in the boost and that's really the whole key with an exhaust manifold it's kind of basically like a header you know on a gas motor let's get that heat energy when you ceramic coat it it helps keep that heat inside the manifold itself driving to the turbine wheel 
It also comes with all the hardware, so when you open the box, you're going to have all your nuts and bolts and your gaskets that you need, direct factory replacement. Remember, you guys on the aftermarket that are wanting to put bigger turbochargers on, this is the key. I mean, this is the highest flowing manifold on the market. It's huge on the ports. I mean, you can take a look at the inside of this thing. You can actually look directly through the port to the turbo. You can't do that with a factory exhaust manifold. They are incredibly restrictive. So this is going to be pretty much fit the bill for you if it's just repair um, that you're doing on your 12, 24 valve or upgrading um, to a center dump on your common rail. Drop the manifold on, bolt it up, go to town. So <clears throat> these manifolds are ready to ship. Uh, get on our website, we have lots of variations, but they're pretty much ready to go and you're gonna love them.